In this case, we want to look at velocity versus time graphs and how we go about converting those into acceleration versus time graphs. The key point to remember here is that the slope of a velocity versus time graph is the acceleration. Slope is the change in y over change in x, or rise over run. The y variable in a velocity versus time graph is velocity. The x variable is time, so you're doing velocity, change in velocity divided by change in time, which is our acceleration formula. As we can see here, acceleration equals change in velocity or time. The equation we see on our equation sheet, v equals v naught plus a t, is a rearrangement of this acceleration versus time equation, acceleration equation. So I've got a couple of examples here that I want to look at for velocity versus time converting to acceleration versus time. So we're going to look at our velocity versus time graph. We're going to look at each section. We're going to find the slope of the line in that section. And then for the same length of time, so for the first two seconds in this case, for the first section, we will have that acceleration. So this goes up. This is at 0.25. It starts at 0, 0. So 5 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0, which gives us 5 halves. 5 halves is the same thing as 2 and 1 half. So we'll go to 2 and 1 half here. And draw that first section of the graph. For this next section, it's a flat horizontal line, so the slope is zero. So now we're going to have the line on here. Now we can connect these with a dashed line if we would like. You don't have to. For this section, this is the point seven zero. This is the point four. 5. So we do 5 minus 0 over 4 minus, or 7 minus 4, which will give us 5 thirds, or 1 and 1 third. So in this case, we'll go up to about approximately where 1 and 1 third would be located, and we'll do this over to time 7. Dash the line again. From 7 to 8, it's back at 0. From 8 to 9, we start at the point 8, 0. We're going to 10, negative 3. So negative 3 minus 0 over 10 minus 8, which gives us negative 3 halves. So from 8 to 10, we'll be down at 1 and 1 half, negative. From 10 to 12, the slope is 0, so we come back here to the 0 line. And then we go from 12, negative 3, to 15, 5. So 5 minus a negative 3 over 15 minus 12. So we get 8 over 3, or 8 thirds, positive 8 thirds. 8 thirds being 2 and 2 thirds. So we'll come up to this point here, about 2 and 2 thirds, a little over 2 and a half, and go over to 15. So this would be our acceleration versus time graph for this section. Acceleration versus time graphs, because we're going to be doing constant accelerations, will be these horizontal lines that you see below.